What's up, too? As y'all can tell by the intro, bro, your boy Dev's got a different, different, different kind of video today. This video, man, is, you know, IRL, as y'all can tell. I'm fixing my dang on controller that I broke. Dude, the rage is, you know, finally done paid off. After all the rage, and I done finally broke something. So, y'all, see, we can go ahead and jump into it. First things first, you pop your black thing off your controller. It's just a little plastic piece. It pops off easy, snaps back on easily. So after you take your first two screws out, it's a total of four screws you gotta take out. You take your first two up top when you pop your black piece off. Now you gotta pop your L1 and your R1 off. That easily pops off. All you gotta do is just wedge something there, just pop it straight off, just like that. That screw is located right there, as you see I zoomed in for y'all. So once you locate and take off your L1 and R1, and you pop off your black piece and take those screws out, you take your L1 and your R1 screws out, as you see I'm doing right here, Go and go ahead and speed the video up for y'all. Now, once you have everything unscrewed in the front, it just easily pops this little white plastic piece off. Now, once you get that plastic piece off the front of your controller or the back of your controller, because you're going to like pop it off the back, you're going to be looking at the motherboard and your battery. I'm zooming in on this image to show you the battery is just easy kindergarten work. You just pop the battery up, you, didn't, you disconnect the little plug-in, that's it for the battery. Also, if you notice, right to the left of the battery and right to the right of the battery, it's a gold plug-in and it's a gold microphone plug-in. And to the left of it, up top left, it's a blue plug-in. You must unplug all those because people will forget. See, I zoomed in just to try to show y'all a better image, even though it's blurry. A lot of people forget these. You're not going to be able to pop the motherboard up and fix what you need to fix if you don't pop these out. Now, in this image I'm showing you, when you pop the battery out, all that's left is this black piece and this screw. And I'm giving you another angle right here, as we talked about about a minute ago. You got your blue piece up top. You can pop that uh, wire out. You got your two wires down here, your microphone and your receptor wire. You want to pop those wires out. Now, this is on the side of controller you got on each side. You got to unscrew that screw. You know where your palms, where your fingers lay when you hold the controller. Unscrew that screw. Same thing for the other side, as you can see right here in this clip. Now that black piece is removed, this whole thing will just fold over. Like it, it'll, it just comes out because there's nothing else connected. As you can see here now, I'm popping this piece out. Of course, being very careful, don't want to rupture nothing on the motherboard, don't want to break nothing. It just pops right out. Um, as you're doing that again, be careful. You see, I still got my light wire connected to it. You can leave that connected or you can leave it unconnected. It doesn't really matter. See, I got mine just connected still because I know I'm just going to do a quick fix, pop the analog stick back in place, and then I'm just going, you know, now it's reassemble time. Put it back on smoothly, nice and flush to the front base of your controller so it makes the rest easy. Now it's just reassemble time. I'm just going ahead and speed the video up for y'all. 